All right, welcome to another blacksmithing video. I'm Jerem Rush with Rush Fire Forge. I'm going to demonstrate the burners that I build. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about it first. Uh, we'll start right down here at the flared end. This is uh, stainless steel. Uh, stainless is going to last a lot longer than you know just your regular black iron down here. Uh, so that's important to use that. You got to order these special. You won't find them at plumbing stores. Uh, this piece is black iron. This is a six inch pipe nipple. I'll give you the dimensions too. This is three quarters uh, pipe, six inches long. This is a three quarter by one. This is a reducing coupling. Uh, you want black iron here because it, it's not galvanized. Galvanized will put off zinc fumes. Uh, black iron won't do that. Zinc fumes are toxic. Uh, this is galvanized because it costs less than black iron and uh, it doesn't heat up right here. Anytime while you're forging you can grab this thing, it's going to be cool to the touch. or just barely warm, um, but it's not going to heat up and uh, put off those fumes. Now down in there, the orifice for the propane, I just use one of these. Uh, this is a quarter inch brass plug that fits into this. Um, this can be a galvanized coupling if you want. This one happens to be black iron just like that, but you can still use galvanized on those because they don't heat up. So I just screw that into there, and that is a number 57 um, uh, drill bit right there. An itty bitty tiny drill bit. Now some people like to use the MIG welding tips for this. Those are too large. Uh, that puts out too much propane. Uh, it gives you too much of a like a marshmallow roasting flame out of here as opposed to a nice tight jet with a ton of concentrated heat, which is what you want in a forge, nice concentrated heat. Um, and then we just go out, I like to get a good 12 inches away this way before I start using any rubber. Now this is a nice little needle valve, gives you a lot of control as you spin this. It, it, I mean, you'll see when I demonstrate, you can see the control that you get from this as opposed to a ball valve. A ball valve will get the job done, this gets it done much better. So this is what you want in my opinion. Okay, so let's fire this thing up. I just use one of these. If this one's old, it takes me a couple times to get sparks sometimes, so. There we go. Okay. So there's my flame. I reduce it down. We turn it up. Now, I think that is the perfect flame in a propane forge. Uh, you can adjust it a little bit. You can put a choke on here. Uh, this is a one and a quarter by three quarter uh, reducing coupling. I use one and a quarter. One and a half is too big. It lets in too much air. Uh, one inch is not big enough. It doesn't let in enough air. This thing seems to get it right on the money. Um, so I really like that size. Um, just to kind of go through this again for you. This is a 12 inch long by quarter inch pipe nipple right here. This is a quarter inch street elbow, quarter inch coupling. You could you could actually just combine those two and just get a quarter inch uh, 90 degree elbow. That'll work just the same. I just happen to have extras of those so I used them here. And then this is a quarter inch brass plug. One and a quarter by three quarter uh, galvanized reducing coupling. Uh, three quarter inch pipe nipple six inches long. And then there's a stainless steel, uh, one inch by three quarter inch reducing coupling. Again, you have to order those. I ordered mine from Ferguson. Um, I don't know how many places sell them, but it was kind of hard to find. And this thing I've only found in one place. Jim Fox sells them at thermalartdesign.com. He sells uh, his burners as well. His cost a whole lot more than mine and function almost exactly the same. His does have a sliding choke, uh, so you can change for oxidizing, reducing, and uh, flame there. Um, but this is, I mean, I never use the choke. I have some of his burners. I use them all the time. But um, I never use the choke. So this is the burner that I sell. You can either make it yourself or contact me and I'll sell you one. And they work fantastically well. You put two of these together and you get a great uh, welding situation. So if you want to do some forge welding, a couple of these will get you done for a really good price. So 
Jerem Rush with Rush Fire Forge. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.